all the other candidates that I've got to meet. It's really an honor to meet everybody. Really enjoy talking to uh, Senator Sign back there. What a legend. Because you're not interested in long speeches, you're not going to get a long speech from me. I just want to give you a few words that will get you fired up, I hope. I won't feel bad. Good. First off, DietersForGovernor.com has everything you need to know about me. DietersForGovernor.com. Also, my email address is real easy to remember. It's Eric at EricDieters.com. I'm giving out my cell phone number to entire Kentucky. I've been joking on the campaign trail. I want every Kentuckian to have my cell phone number so they can call me, text me. I respond to everybody. I live on naps. Uh, I'm kind of famous for that. I work about 18 hours a day out of seven days a week. I'm a workaholic. But my phone number is 859-250-2527. You can find it on my website. But here's what I stand for. I stand for the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. My whole motto of my campaign is less government and more freedom. If you go, if you go to DietersForGovernor.com, you're going to see a three-minute video that I did talking about Kentucky and what I stand for. I believe that America was founded on three pillars. God, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights, and capitalism. Everything's under attack in this state right now. I mean, we have a governor that spied on people going to church, locked down, put out of business good people, restaurants and bars. It's despicable what they did to the restaurant and bar industry. It's awful. And you know what? It's not just about people. It's about small business, family business. I've coined this phrase, the American Communist 10, which are our enemies, led by Big time media, tech, social media, the Democratic Party. I got a whole ton of them. Hollywood, you name it. They're all part of trying to turn America into something that we're not. I'll just, because I can tell the crowd, you know, I can adapt to whatever crowd I'm in front of. And I can tell that this is a freedom loving crowd. I believe in the First Amendment to say what the hell you want. Whatever the hell you want it. I believe in the Second Amendment. Carry a gun. I got a 380 right here in my pocket. I don't even have a concealed carry for it because I don't think I need to have one. Of course, now you don't have to have one. But I carried it even before you needed to have a concealed carry. I don't believe that people should be in prison or jail for recreational pot. Doesn't make any sense at all. I'm going to go on. This, this video is going to be posted. I'm going to say and do things that no other candidate's going to do. I've had people tell me, don't say that, Bulldog. You might offend the evangelicals. Well, let me tell you, I am pro-life. I believe abortion is killing a baby. You know what else I believe? I believe the time has come for legalization of marijuana, period. All these people say I'm medicinal marijuana. Give me a break. Everybody knows that people are partaking out there, and we don't need to make it a criminalization. Make it age 21, just like liquor. Yes. So I'm sticking my neck out there, and I need your support and help on that. But that's what I firmly believe. Now, maybe this will be the best part of my short speech. I am for Trump today. I'm for Trump yesterday. I'm for Trump tomorrow. I supported him when he came down the escalator. I was his 2016 chairman in northern Kentucky. I, was, I went to uh, Marlago, had dinner with him with 20 other people, February 23rd. And I want to tell all of you right now, I'm going to give you some inside baseball. He's running. He just can't announce yet because of some legal issues, like if you announce and you file, you got to file all this stuff. So he's just waiting. But I am for everything Trump believes in. And I will fight for you. Now, because this is a nice bar ruckus crowd, I'm going to tell you something else that will distinguish me from all my opponents. You're going to have a bunch. By the way, we're running early. This is 2033 in May, okay? I'm getting out early, but I don't care. I want you all to support me now and spread the word. Now, get this. No, all these Republican candidates are going to say, yeah, I'm pro-life. Yes, I'm pro-gun. Yes, I'm pro-this, pro-that. Here's something that none of them are going to do and you're going to love about me. I represented 580 people who had an unnecessary spine surgery from a guy named a Dr. Atik Durrani, who got indicted and fled the country. Can't make this up. 
for 10 years, we had this legal battle going on, and the judge that had these cases were making these people go to trial one at a time, which means that 580 people going to trial, it would take them 40 years. 79 people died waiting for trial. This battle is still going on. So get this, even though there was a gag order, we protested on the, on the courthouse steps, and then they had a contempt hearing against me, and I looked that judge square in the eye, I said, you know what, while you sit up there on that bench, I've been fighting for these 580 people. By the way, he picked on low socioeconomic people. I'm helping these people out with all their problems. And I looked that judge in the eye and I said, you are evil. He threw me to Hamilton County Justice Center for 15 days and I served seven. And it was the proudest thing that I've ever done. My point that I'm gonna make to distinguish me from all these other Republicans that are going to run. And you know how they are. The Republican Party are a bunch of weak asses. They do it all the time. They don't stand strong, okay? I'm going to tell you something. I'm tougher than a pine knot. Larry Forge gave me that, my political godfather. I'm different than all the rest of them. I'm not a professional politician. I will fight for you, but I know the game. I will fight for you like nobody else, and I will be the only guy that can say, I'm willing to go to jail for a cause. And I mean that, and I am. You will have a Ron DeSantis for Kentucky, not an Andy Bashir. Thank you all. Eric Dieters, Dieters for Governor Doc Pond. It's never too early to get started. Thank you. And Alan, thank you, buddy. By the way, he's my man, so if you got any questions, you can call him too.